Welcome to Classic Craft Studio. I'm Rebecca and today we're going to be talking about cutwork, that's embroidered cutwork. And we're going to be doing it onto ordinary woven fabric. So this is the kind of weave that you'd find on a sheet or a button-up shirt, that kind of fabric. Um, it's quite specific because doing this on different types of fabric gives you different effects. So we're going to start with the most basic, which is your ordinary woven fabric. And then next week we'll be going into open weave fabrics, that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, let me show you how this is done. So I've drawn a few circles here onto the fabric. I started off using a compass, um, which is where the pencil lines come in, and then decided to switch to the water erasable marker. Right, so we're going to hoop up our fabric. So we're going to start with going two lines of straight stitch, and then we will um, explain as I go. But we're going to start with the two lines of straight stitch. Embroidery foot on, stitch length, and set to the middle of the buttonhole or even on to a zero. You're going to be working with either straight stitch or a zigzag. And your feed dogs, that's your fabric guides, you're going to be set to, you're going to disengage your fabric guides. So make sure that they're not, they're all flat inside. Right, so we're going to go around, I'm going to start with the circle. I'm going to go around the outside with the lines of straight stitch and then we'll cut away the inside. As always. So I'm using um, slightly different colours, purple in the base and in the top thread, just to create a slightly different effect. Um, usually one would match your top and bottom thread, but for this one, just because we're playing around here um, during the tutorial, so I thought I would show you the effect of using different colours. So there Okay, I actually ended up going around three times. That's three times the charm. Okay, now we are going to cut out our middle round like that. Just on the inside of those stitches that you made now. I think nail scissors are actually slightly easier to cut this with because they're curved. But I don't have any on hand, so I'm using embroidery scissors. Also work nicely. Okay, now we're going to go over our raw edge with a zigzag. And I've got my zigzag width set to a number three. So then you want to keep your fingers on the fabric just to make sure that it stays in place um, when you're stitching and it doesn't lift up. So.
Okay, now we're going to start the bars of stitching. So I've set it back to a straight stitch, everything else I'm keeping the same. And I'll well, put my needle in the middle. Okay, now we're just, just going to do a line of straight stitching from one side of that hole to the other. see that line of thread that we just done there. Okay, now coming back along that line, we're going to switch to a zigzag width of a two. Okay. You want to make sure that you'll then let's make it a three. To make sure, just move your needle with your hand wheel just to make sure it's falling on either side of that bar. And now we're going to stitch down over that bar. So you can see as I'm stitching this bar is wiggling a little bit side to side, but it is staying in between where the needle is falling. Okay, so you can see that bar is getting a bit thicker. Alright, so let's go back over it again. I think for this round, we've done such stain stitching here, just use your hand wheel to manipulate your needle over that little ridge. Alright, we've done our first bar across the middle. Now we're going to go back to our straight stitch. Just stitch around the edge of the circle very quickly. Roughly halfway. Right. We're now going to go across that. Because we want a nice solid line, we're going to repeat that. So just make sure when you're crossing over this that it doesn't get sucked down into your the bobbin casing underneath. Okay, now back to our straight stitch, and we move to our next. Position. Straight stitch. Zigzag again. So we've got our open circle with the um, sort of spokes going across it. So I'm now going to do a circle in the middle, just using thread. So we're going to come down this spoke, so we're halfway, and then put it back to zigzag. 
I mean, sorry, back to straight stitch. Okay, I'm going to do another line going around just to create a different effect. You can see we're starting to form a pattern there. Okay, I'm going to continue to go around and round in circles and building up the center. So for this, um, this circle, it's created sort of like a spider web effect. Now we're going to change colors and go down to that circle there. So again, we're in straight stitch. Tension is at a four, which is slightly, slightly higher than normal. And the needle position is in the middle. Okay, so for this circle we're going to do something slightly different. And I'm going to draw another circle on the inside. This is actually the idea I had for the purple circle, but I'm not going to do it for this one. So for this, we're going to cut away bits between these spokes.
Okay, and there we've got our basic shape to start working with. So I'm going to go zigzagging over the bars there that we've created, and then I'm going to do the interconnecting lines, and then I'll go around the outer edge just to create a different effect. But first off, I'm going to do the go over these bars to give it some strength. I'm using straight stitch just to get between the bars. circles nice and secured there. We go to our straight stitch. Okay. We'll go to the center there and we're going to start doing just interconnecting lines. So I've done a line of straight, straight stitch, I'm going to now do a line of zigzag around the edges. So 
So I advise going if you when you're going around the edge, just go a little bit slower than normal, just to make sure that you're not uh, damaging these connecting um, thread links too much. Straight stitch just to make it the center, and now we're going to go around the center in a zigzag too. The central zig circle I'm going to do in slightly smaller, I'm going to do it on a three num width number three. design. So for this one you can see that uh, this little bar here, the threads disconnected and then when it when I was stitching it stitched on a bit strange. So this is, you know, it's not exactly precision work but it creates a really nice effect. Okay and then these I'm just going to continue in the same way just creating slightly different effects but all using the same thread, chains of thread.
Yeah, you can see the open cut work with the thread bars in between. So as you can see, this is a fantastic little technique to practice and play around with. And it's also a great way to do um, thread lace without using the water soluble fabric. This is just a quick example. Um, I've did felting for the leaf bit and then open cut work heart. So thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe and like this video. Thanks so much. See you next week. Bye for now.